G'day, I'm Gary Pye, Reillusion's 2D Community Manager, and for the past nine years, I've been a content developer for the 2D Marketplace. I'd like to introduce you to the 2D animation software, Cartoon Animator 5. With the release of version 5 of Cartoon Animator, we now have all new amazing and practical tools that will help make professional 2D animation faster and easier than ever before. In addition to the abilities you are already familiar with, Cartoon Animator 5 now has object freeform deformation, spring bones, and most importantly, the ability to create characters using vector software. Each of these new features will enhance your animated projects in all new ways, and when mixed with the powerful tools you already use, Cartoon Animator 5 is about to take your 2D animation to a whole new level. So what are some of the new features of Cartoon Animator 5? Let's take a look now. <coughs> Cartoon Animator now introduces the ability to design and build your characters as vector art in your favorite drawing software, including Adobe Illustrator, Coral Draw, Affinity Designer, Photo P, and Inkscape. So what exactly is vector art? Unlike raster art, which is made up of pixels that can blur when enlarged or zoomed, vector graphics are created from geometric shapes like points, lines, curves, and polygons, which means you can enlarge them indefinitely without any loss of quality and without any annoying feathering around the edge of your art. So you can zoom in as close as you want to a character and never worry about losing quality. With a drawing tablet like my XP Pen 24 Pro, you can still free draw your art, but as vectors, you have the ability to make instant changes to shape and color, meaning changes to your design can be made spontaneously as opposed to working with raster images, which need to be completely redrawn. And the best news is creating characters with Cartoon Animator 5 is easy, provided you follow a few simple rules. As you're creating your vector characters, you're going to want to make sure that you're working in RGB mode. This way, users will have the chance to change the color of individual parts of your character like skin, hair, and clothing directly inside Cartoon Animator 5, adding more value to your content. As you build your character, remember to group all your body parts like arms, legs, and torso for easy management, and name them the same as the corresponding body part in the Cartoon Animator 5 character template, so that you can import your finished character straight into Cartoon Animator. In other words, have fun drawing your most creative ideas imaginable. Just remember to keep all your parts grouped together so that you can match them up with the character template and have them work in Cartoon Animator 5. Now you have your character and all your parts grouped, it's time to assemble your character and apply the bones that will control movement. And the number one rule here is to remember to name your layers correctly. You have three main folders that make up a character build, and they are RL Bone Human, RL Bone Head, and RL Image. And it's worth taking a closer look at these to see just what they do. First of all, the RL Bone Human folder contains all the pivot points for the bones of the body, and you can position these any way you want to create your own unique skeletons for your characters. Next is the RL Bone Head folder, containing the pivot points for the individual parts that make up the face. These are important because they determine how the head rotates for your 360 head movement. Now that you have your character all drawn up, with all your layers correct and all your bones in the right position, it's time to send your character to Cartoon Animator 5 and bring it to life. Now you're going to export your new character as an SVG file, which is your scalable vector graphic. Make sure your compatibility is set to 1.1 and your styling options are set to presentation and you can export your character. Move across to Cartoon Animator 5 and drop your SVG file into stage mode and your character will appear. Now you only need to set up your 360 head movement and your facial animation setup and your character is complete. So that's it. That's how easy it is to make a vector character with Cartoon Animator 5. 
But there are a couple of other really clever new things Cartoon Animator 5 can do for your characters as well that I want to show you now. New to Cartoon Animator 5 is Object Freeform Deformation. This is the ability to apply squash and stretch to your characters to exaggerate their movement and give them even more flexibility. And it's really easy to use. Once you've animated your characters, you can apply freeform deformation. On your character's timeline, you'll see a tab named FFD. Open this track, and this is where you'll see the freeform deformation as it's applied. Select your character and open the freeform deformation menu. Now you'll see a bounding box surrounding your character. You can move each of these points to affect the squash and stretch of your character and manually keyframe its movement, or you can apply one of the preset deformations. You can rotate, shift, scale, and adjust the strength of the deformation to get your animation just the way you want and give your characters a more exaggerated, cartoony performance. Another new feature of Cartoon Animator 5 are spring bones. This is my new favorite toy. I am in love with spring bones. Think of spring bones as being able to automatically apply physics and gravity to your character's body parts, particularly their wobbly bits. In the past, if you had a character with long flowing hair, when you applied a motion, the hair would remain static. You could use the deform tool and keyframe movement, but that process took a considerable amount of time. Not anymore. Now, with Cartoon Animator 5's spring bones, character parts can move freely, as the spring bones will automatically control their movement. There's no keyframing involved. Nothing you have to do. Just apply the spring bones and watch your character move like never before. And the best part is, adding spring bones is so easy. And it's going to change the way your characters move in the most amazing and dynamic ways. With your character open in composer mode, open the bone editor. Select the bone pivot point you want to apply your spring bones to. Now add new bones starting from this point. You can do this to any face or body part. Then open the spring bone editor create a new group and assign the bone to that group. When you do, you'll see all the bones attached to this bone are added to the group and they'll all change color. Now click preview and watch as your hair moves naturally on its own when you move the character's head. How good is that? No more keyframing, no more unnatural stiff movement. Just apply the spring bone Change the parameters from the gravity, the movement, the wobble, the bounce, and just watch it all happen. Spring bones are going to change your life. So there you have it. Just some of the new features of Cartoon Animator 5. Features that are designed to enhance your character's performance through automated natural movement. Things like squash and stretch and the spring bones that are applied that will give your characters more natural and automated movement. Techniques that are applied in the 12 principles of animation, as well as the ability to now create your characters as vector characters for a more professional output. Cartoon Animator is already powerful 2D animation software with both the beginner and the professional in mind. Now with version five, we've added all new exciting features that will bring your characters to life in the most exciting ways. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.